Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Mod Fallout New Vegas. We're talking to Harden. Head Paladin Hard. Oh God. What do I get out of helping you? If I become elder, the lockdown will be lifted, and we'll once again be able to send patrols out into the wastes. We'll become powerful again, and when that happens, it will be good to have the Brotherhood as an ally. Good enough? I'll see what I can do. That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. So, anyway... So, uh, why is there a lockdown? Why? Who are these people? What the heck? No, no, no. These answers are actually all answered at a completely different location. Actually, the power plant, Helios 1, if we go there and we talk to them, then they'll actually have us Hello, have some outside. answers for us as to what the hell is going on. Look, this isn't a great time. Oh, what the hell? It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. No, no. It's not. Something wrong? I've had better. You and me both. The Elder wants this data store operational pronto, but it doesn't look like the damn thing will be working anytime soon. Why's that? One of our exploratory patrols, back when we had exploratory patrols, found a data disk in some ruins out in the waste. Well, we finally got around to cataloging the damn thing and got shut out of our own data store the second it loaded. Turns out it had a virus on it. A virus? Yeah, some pre-war jackass with too much time on his hands apparently decided to inflict his misery on those around him. It's scrambling all the terminals here at the moment. Luckily, we only use this section for storing historical data. Is there anything to help? I suppose it couldn't hurt to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to come up with something coming at it fresh. While the entire system is infected, the virus itself is spread across three terminals. The problem is that it keeps moving periodically. We'll have it nailed down in a terminal or two, only to have it jump to another set of terminals before we locate the third. What do I need to do? You'll need to locate it on three different terminals in this area in one minute. Any longer and it'll jump, and you'll have to start all over. Locating the virus would probably be nearly impossible, but the pompous little bastard that wrote it made things a little easier for us. Normally, terminals infected by the virus just display gibberish, but we found that terminals the virus moved to had some real data passed to them. We were able to decrypt the data and discovered that it was just messages from the virus's writer taunting his victims. When you find terminals with those messages, lock them down and move on. Find three of them before the virus jumps, and we'll wipe the damn thing. Are you try then? Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. I don't think viruses work this way. And we have to slow down here. The Brotherhood of Steel, again. How may I assist you? Oh, I'm gonna have to do this, aren't I? Evening. The Brotherhood of Steel are... They were originally military. The virus just jumped! Find which terminals it went to. Oh God. Where the U.S. military and uh, as they were originally U.S. military. Such a lot. And basically, they found this project called the Forced Evolutionary Project, uh, Evolutionary Virus Project, that actually was producing these super mutants or they were just super soldiers at the time using POWs uh... the uh... the actually the head officer committed suicide just out of sheer shock of the situation and the FEV virus is actually those centaurs we saw earlier <clears throat> uh... another guy uh... Maxon, something like that took over and they basically detached from the military. They went AWOL. 
said they weren't going to comply with this anymore on the radio, but they got no response. An hour later, the bombs dropped. They weren't hit, but they could tell what happened. After interrogating the scientists and getting a feed on the on a nearby bunker, they executed the scientists and moved out. They actually had their family is with them on a nearby camp. So they moved one into the Lost Hills bunker and then founded the Brotherhood of Steel, which basically their mission was preservation of the old world. They would find uh, technology and uh, preserve it. And they would just try to research new technology. And they mainly, of course, used power armor. That was their trademark thing. They were the only ones who had the access to equipment that could repair, use, and maintain power armor. And they were very isolated for a time. But then the NCR came. And the, the Brotherhood but at first gave some of their technology to the NCR, which allowed it to prosper and flourish. But the Civil War started in the Brotherhood. And it changed from preserving humanity to preserving advanced technology. To the point where they didn't care about any human. You can always make another human, but the secrets of making a P-94 plasma rifle have been lost in time. But it wasn't really advanced technology, it was just energy weapons. This led to a war with the new California Republic. A war that is still happening in the West, though it's more guerrilla-style tactics, etc. Here, they attempted to do something, I don't want to spoil it, and then got kicked into this bunker. So, there. You now know what the hell's going on. Just remember, Fault New Vegas is the real third game for the trilogy of Fallout 1, Fallout 2. The Fault, Fault 1, Fault 2, and of course, New Vegas. That's the real trilogy. Fallout 3 had, is really more of a spin-off. Access data store. Hello, data store. Lovely day. Just say the words out. I'm getting in my way. Ten oh, seconds. Stop. loads and quick saves make this they really they really need to be used here otherwise this is going to be impossible damn it's jumped damn it's jumped ah uh, okay well i think we messed that up Jumped. I thought we might have had it that time. So anyway. Did you want to try isolating the virus? Perhaps another time. We'll continue our own efforts in the meantime. Actually, no, I have some questions. Did you want to try isolating the virus? Right, not right now. I have a few questions to ask you. I suppose I could take a small break, but I can only spare a little time. Ask away. What do you think of Harden trying to get McNamara dismissed? I don't have time to think about silly things like politics right now. My main concern right now is getting this blasted data store up and running. What kind of information is in the data store? Oh, all kinds of things. There was already information regarding the layout and systems of this bunker, but we've since added our own data as well. Prior to the lockdown, we had extensively scouted the surrounding area and compiled dossiers on nearby points of interest. About the virus. Yes, did you have an idea that might help us? That's no, nothing. I do that all the time myself. 
One moment I'll think I've solved the conundrum, and the next I'm back to square one. Don't let it bother you. Was there something else you wanted? Time for me to go. Later. That sounded creepy. Let's see what else we can. Let's see if we can gather any extra information. Again, there's a lot of holes in the Brotherhood of Steel story that I left, but that will get explained. But I guess the game developers never expected you to head here first. This this place is to get to. I'm looking at bathrooms. Hey. Yeah, classroom. Uh oh. There's someone I want to talk to that might have some answers for us. Here we go. Hello, you must be the outsider everyone's talking about. I'm Linda Schuller. If you ever need medical attention, this is the place to come. Mm. So you're a doctor? Yes, I handle all medical needs in the bunker. If you're ever wounded, for a fee. Normally I'd just be the base's medical officer, but my other duties say otherwise. Hmm. What services can you perform? We have equipment here to treat most physical injuries. Lacerations, broken bones, that sort of thing. We also carry a full supply of antitoxins. You may have noticed the bark scorpions up above. Though tiny, their venom packs quite a punch. They're not Treating tiny. scorpion stings is my most common procedure. I can also treat any form of radiation sickness you pick up out in the waste. No matter what stage. Save the last. You mentioned other duties you had? I'm this bunker's head scribe in everything but name. I supervise the research teams. I collate the reports. I attend the meetings. But for reasons beyond me, that buffoon Taggart still gets the title. And don't get me started on that little pet of his. Everyone around here knows what's going on there but her. Why not tell on him? Oh, I tried. The Elder listened patiently to my carefully constructed argument regarding why the buffoon should lose his position. Then he just as patiently explained to me that Taggart's work was vital to our cause, and that he wasn't to be trifled with lesser matters. But vital to our cause? Hardly. Huh. I need to get going. Bye. Hey, computer. Nope. So few answers in this area, it's frustrating. 